I think if I don't show you, you're not going to believe how expensive this item is. Here, what does that say, guys? One, two, five, five. Insane price. Um, half of the outlet price. So there, which came in at eight forty. So I've eight forty, which means I paid four twenty for this particular piece. So listen, guys. As you know, last week I headed over to the Bista Village over in where was Bista Village? Bista. <laughs> I headed over there to go and check out some items from the Stone Island outlet. One of our followers gave us the heads up on our Facebook group. From there, I put the word out. Thought I would go down there to go and check it out myself now the prices there were really good so i know a lot of people ask me about prices it was literally 30 percent off the rrp which is really high now for stone island in my opinion from the 30 percent off price there was given doing an extra 50 percent off the outlet price which is to me absolutely crazy i'm going to show you some of the pieces that i picked up i'm going to show you the pricing and you can see the quality of the items and my thoughts on it as well so, so the first piece that i'm going to show you and this is one that i thought i would keep because i'm not actually going to keep all of these items i will be selling these on my platform hoxton's wardrobe so make sure you check it out but this one i thought i would keep for myself now this one is called the naslan this one is called the naslan light watro down TC jacket. And now the original price on this jacket was crazy, coming in at £1,255. I need to show you this because I think if I don't show you, you're not gonna believe how expensive this item is. Here, what does that say, guys? One, two, five, five. Insane price. I, I've got to be honest with you on this one. I, I did like the aesthetic of this jacket. I think the aesthetic of this jacket is really, really nice. But I don't know, guys. I was a little bit disappointed by the quality of this one. I just thought the quality was just... I didn't think it was £1,255 worth of quality. Let's just put it that way. First thing I noticed is even though I haven't been wearing this jacket a lot, I've noticed that it started to kind of bubble or at least some of the fabric seem to be rubbing and bubbling and i'll get these kind of little bubbling it's all throughout the jacket which i thought was a little which i found a little bit annoying because it just made the jacket seem like it had been worn for a much longer than it actually had. i feel like the quality i just feel like the materials that they use now are just i don't know they're noticeably not not the same as they used to be in in my in my opinion this piece although the silhouette was really nice it wasn't an overly exciting piece now i went and paid um half of the outlet price so if that's the outlet price there if that's the outlet price there which came in at 840 so i've 840 which means i paid 420 for this again for 1255 i i feel like the price on stone island now and the quality of the stuff it's clearly just not matching they're taking lots of different leaves out of montclair's book which is really just to kind of really increase the rrp and really try to find ways that they can just kind of get that quality just reduced as much i guess to save costs so that margin can be uh, you know something that something that these guys want to kind of increase over time and this is one thing i would say when companies list on the stock exchange now although you can't buy stocks in stone island you can buy stocks in montclair although i've heard it's a bit of a complicated way that you need to do it and not just the average investor or individual can invest in montclair apparently i haven't fully looked into it but a little bit of research that i did that's the kind of information that i've come across so if you want to find it out for yourself whether you can or you can't by all means, go and do the research. I'm not an expert. But what I'm saying is when companies typically list on the stock exchange for them to sell shares, what you will tend to find is over time, it profits become something that is much more apparent for these guys. And in my opinion, sometimes what happens is you get things like cost cutting, reduction of materials and increases of pricing. Because at the end of the day, every year, these guys want to make profits. Another piece which I've had in the past and which I absolutely love is this Crinkle Rep Down Parker from Stone Island. Now for me, this is an absolutely insane jacket. It's really, really warm. Not only that, it is water resistant uh, and it's also wind resistant as well. And it comes with an amazing hood, which I'm going to show you now. Look at that hood feature there. You can see this nice... You can see this nice wool feature that goes all around the hood and you can even see the little Stone Island sign 
in there as well, which is really nice. This one is actually a size extra large. I did manage to grab this in an extra large and double XL. But I thought even the extra large, I thought it kind of suited me fine, to be honest with you. That's the arm badge that you can see right there. This is probably one of my more favorite jackets from Stone Island. It's really well made. I think the materials are really nice. Still feels like some of the older materials to me. So it still feels kind of sturdy, quite a strong jacket, good weight to it as well. Lots of down insulation. If we look at the price point on this one, this one was original price again. <coughs> an astronomical £1,255, but the outlet price went down to £820. I paid £410, which personally I think is a much, much more reasonable price for this type of jacket. On the top of the hood, we got the wool feature that goes all along the trim. Quick release Velcro, and we got the zips here, which are still visible on YKK. Although I have noticed apparently that some Stone Island items are not coming with VK with YKK visible on zippers anymore. So that's a shame. I hope it's not something that they're going to start removing from their jackets because people that have watched my videos and people that will know about Stone Island will definitely want to keep the trusted YKK zippers. I mean, come on, when you're just paying a thousand pounds for a jacket, you want some of the best features on your jacket. So hopefully they'll they'll maintain and keep those. Two top pockets, as you can see there, two button down, two button down pockets on the side there as well. And we've got a mobile phone pocket on the inside, little badge holder in there. And of course, we've got all the information kept on the jacket and its construction all on the inside of the jacket there as well piece i would really put this piece at more around the six seven five seven hundred at a max for me rrp I, I think anything more than that personally is a bit overpriced the retail price i paid for this was let's have a look so the retail price on this one was so the original price is 1,255. It went down to 820, which means I paid around 410, which is an absolutely still in my opinion, okay? So yeah, that, that's, that one was a really good one, that one. So the next one in the collection that I got from the Bista Village is this one. This one is called the Opaque Nylon Twill Down TC Jacket. This one again for me, is actually a, a, quite a good one from Stone Island. Although, in saying that, I, I still can't help but feel there's something about the construction to me which is just not the same as what it used to be and I can't put my finger on it and something just doesn't feel as robust to me. I can't put my, my, I can't put my finger on it. Um, down insulated on the inside, quite puffy, quite sturdy. We've got the outer construction here which is the Stone Island's very own nylon twill down TC which is the material and the fill of the, of the jacket on the inside. It, I, I, I really like this one. Yeah, I think it's really nice. We've got a top pocket there, side pockets there as well. Lots, little pocket here on the side. So lots of little features going all through. So it's quite technical, this one. We've got the hood there as well. And we've also got that wool feature um, trim guard that we have on the trim of the hood there, which is a really nice feature as well. This one's a size medium. So for me, I feel it's just a tiny bit, it, it kind of fits okay, but I could probably do with a large on this one. So I would say guys, stick true to size on your Stone Island purchases in most of the items, okay? That's the jacket there. And if we look at the price point there, we can see the price point is 1,285 pounds. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy price. And the outlet price was, the outlet price was 860 pounds, which means I paid 50% off that, which would have been 400 and 30 pounds. Really, really good price. I would put an RRP price on this personally. I think this should be probably no more than 695, 675, 700 at, at, at tops. Anything more than that, I personally think that's in overpriced territory, but that's just my opinion. I, I really don't know who's paying 1,228 pounds for these items, and it's a no wonder that we're now starting to see this stuff on the sales rack at 50% off outlet prices, just so Stone Island can move them. I mean, I think they've made a big mistake with this pricing strategy. I don't think they should have gone down the same road as what Montclair has gone down. The, the, the audience for um, Stone Island is was, it was just way too savvy, man. Way too savvy. And I, I just don't see them paying £1,225 for this when stuff like this six years ago was maybe 600 quid. <coughs> 
<coughs> so the next one that I'm gonna show you is this needle punch, needle punch reflective jacket. Now, I thought this one was gonna be a little bit more thicker than what I thought, but don't get me wrong, just because it's not super thick, it is really, really well made. Now the material for this jacket is actually made with glass fiber particles infused into the jacket with a needle punch technique, which basically means the needles are going in and out really fast and are punching into the fabric. And whilst it's doing that, it's intertwining the glass fibers within the fabric of the jacket, which is made from a polyester construction. But then it also gives you this kind of wool effect. When you see the Stone Island badge like this, the white and the black, we well, you know that they are gonna be using, that they're using new materials to the collection. And that's the reason why we see that badge. So this is something that's new to Stone Island. I personally think this is really durable and quite well made. Now the original price on this one was, let's have a look. The original price on this one, I believe is 960. It went down to 643. And from 643, it went 50% off the 643. So that ended up to be like something like 321 pounds and 75 pence. So that's a crazy good price to me. I think that's really, really good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping this one. Most of this stuff, if not all of it, is gonna be resold on my platform, Hoxton's Wardrobe. So make sure to go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description box below. Also remember the reason why we went down to the outlet in the first place is because one of our followers gave a plug on our Facebook group. And from there, I went down to go and check it out and I put it out on all our socials so that all of our community can know. But one of the first places if you guys want to find out about outlet sales like this is to go on on the Facebook group because a lot of the followers on there, they just give people the heads up. So having this community is like having all these different ears to the ground and then they come back and we put it onto the Facebook group and then everyone gets to benefit, benefit from it. The day after I put the post out on Facebook, tons of our followers went down there to go and check it out. And I know a lot of people walked away with some really good stills, so good for them. Now, as for this one, I think it's really well made. It also reminds me of the man-made suede Stone Island piece, which I really like, and that's a really good fabric as well. That's also, that was also a new fabric at the time that came with the black and white badge. So this one is actually reflective depending on how the light shines on it. So this one is definitely gonna be a collector's piece, really, really sought after. Another thing that I've noticed on a lot of these coats now is that they're starting to do these Velcro kind of hoods that when you put the hood on, then you've got this kind of face guard here where you can put your eyes, the eyes are through there and the rest of it covers your face. I don't know, this whole trend about if you wanna look like a bank robber, then I think Stone Island are giving you the facility to do that, just in case you fancy it on a Friday night, okay? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Right there, really nice piece, really, really well made saw this one on its release. I think people liked it. It's also available in a red as well and also in this um, grey type colour. I'm not sure if it was released in any other colours though. Now the last one from the collection <coughs> Now the last one from the Bista Village selection is another David, well I keep calling it David, it's not David, it's the opaque nylon twill um, down TC. It is a shorter length version of the Parker version which I just tried on. I forgot to tell, by the way, I forgot to tell you the needle punch is an extra large, okay? So that one is extra large, guys. I would say go true to size for your Stone Island jackets. Now, this one is a shorter version of the Parker that I just showed you, the opaque down nylon twill down TC. This one is actually a size small, so it's a little bit tight on me. I know it's looking like it's okay, but believe me, it is a little bit tight. Same as the other jacket, just a shorter version. A lot of people sometimes they don't like the Parkers, or some people they want the long one so that's why they've probably done two different versions i do feel like it's quite warm robust i love the way that they still keep in the detail on the cuffs i mean look for one for over one thousand pounds you've got to be putting some nice detail on the jacket so it is good to see stuff like that we've got the down insulation on the jacket on the inside i can feel that these jackets can keep you quite warm so that's really good to note all of the jackets as well are water resistant except for maybe the needle punch, which I, I don't think, I think you're probably gonna get maybe water repellent, but not water resistant. But I, I think this one is actually quite nice. Let's have a look at the pricing on this one. Price point on this is, let's have a look. So this one is 1,000, no, tell a lie, it's 995 pounds. Oof, 1,000 pounds, jeez Louise. 
uh, sorry, 965, that's gone down to 646. I paid 30%, sorry, 50% on that price, which made it 323 pounds. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is the type of prices we should be paying for this type of stuff. I mean, if, it, if I was to put an RRP on this, it, it wouldn't be more than 550 if I'm to be honest with you. I mean, 965 for for me on this jacket is just wild. Um, this is a size small. Another thing that I've noticed guys as well, look, you've got this sign here where it says made in Indonesia. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just wonder if that's got anything to do with the difference I see or why that I feel that the quality difference, I wonder if that's got anything to do with it. I don't know, maybe it hasn't, but as I said, having handled these jackets for such a long time and having done so many different reviews, I definitely feel like something is different in terms of the quality. One thing I would say about the sales guys is it's not something that's going to be a regular thing this is not something that's going to happen happen weekly as far as i know when i spoke to the team over there who were really nice by the way they said that this is something that's going to be likely to be end of season so maybe only two maybe three times a year if we're lucky but it's looking maybe more like two times so they did suggest that possibly don't quote me 100% but maybe august september next year there might be some more outlet sales like this if there is, we'll find out first and we'll put it on our Facebook, so make sure to go and check that out. But it's it's not going to be something that you're going to be seeing all year round, like when we used to go to the Hackney outlet and it was constantly good prices. This is going to be something that's going to be reserved for end of season, it seems, okay? As you guys know, I'm not really collecting designer clothes as much as I used to, if, if at all these days, to be honest with you, as I've just kind of changed the way that I do things now. But I still love making videos for you guys, so I hope you do enjoy it. The next video that I'm going to be doing for you is showing you the difference between the 2023 Canada Gooses compared to the 2019 Canada Gooses and I think you're absolutely amazed by the difference between these two jackets and I'm not just talking about prices.